right, welcome everyone. Kiwi Fly Fisherman here, what a beautiful day. Steve and I are entering the Fisherman's Lane. And we're heading down to this beautiful river. We're going to fish this. We're going to camp up here for a couple of nights. Welcome along. And uh, it's good to have you guys along again on this year trip. Uh, right, let's get through here. Interesting. Kind of a, a gate inside of a gate, inside of a fence. All right. There we go, down to the river we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Alright, we're down to the river. First sign of this beautiful river. There's my mate Steve. Wow, she's a big river, alright. I've been down to that stop bank before and uh, walked along the top there, along that stop bank and this river was pretty dirty back then so it's looking alright, it's looking good pretty much nice water around there Steve, around that turn up there <laughs> alright, we do have a fish on <laughs> With lots of line run out here, yeah, guys. He's come right back up to the top of the hole. He's had a few good jumps. Okay, another one. I think he's a little rainbow. Yeah, he's a nice little rainbow, Steve-o. Hey! It's not that small either. <laughs> Have you seen the size? Doesn't want to come up here. He likes his hole. Oh yeah, it says. It's a nice little one, Steve. Don't go in the mainstream, leave that to my mate. <laughs> oh, these rainbows are fun. Come on. Come on, rainbow. Oh, he smashed this pink fly of mine. Right, let's see if we can get him up towards the net. Yeah. Gee, this pool's deep, man. Yeah, he's not, not coming up too. Still got a bit of fight in him, eh? <laughs> Come on, fishy. Oh. Nearly. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, that is such a nice fish. Should we hang on to him for the smoker? What do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> or should we get a bigger one? Go with that one. You know what happens when you give them back? It's yeah, a beauty, eh? Yeah. It's a stunner. <laughs> oh, guys, there we go. See the fly. Oh, it's a beauty. All right, we're just trudging up the valley here. Steve's about a half a k above me on that left-hand side there. And it's a bit muddy around here, where I am now, as <laughs> you can see. <laughs> uh, guys, it's still a lovely day, Oof, but muddy. Out here with the Kiwi Fly Fisherman, <laughs> fishing near water actually. I haven't fished this part of the river before. Uh, <clears throat> headwind has picked up, 
so that's going to make it a little bit more challenging. Shosh is a big river, eh? <clears throat> so we've decided to meet back at the car around 2 o'clock and now it's about 10.30 so we've got some good fishing ahead <clears throat> just not sure how productive it'll be but that one pool back there by that stop bank that was a good little two pound fatty rainbow on the pink streamer mate <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so here we go looking back towards uh, right up Mesopotamia I think that area is called stunning river Right, I've decided to call it guys, the wind is howling, so I've turned around and walking back towards the vehicle, Steve's carried on a wee bit, there's a little bit of water that's still left for me to fish here, but not a lot, Steve's probably about half a k back up the valley, look at the dust coming, Woo, buddy, so it's now about 11 yeah, nearly 11.30, half 11, and that wind is pumping. Right guys, there is a beautiful trout on here. He smashed that pink fly again, I'm going to have my work cut out. <laughs> oh, come on, here's a beauty. Hey man, okay I've got a good area down the bottom there to try and land him so if I can just play him keep his head up keep his head up there's a nice pool coming up here oh yeah 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 he's got a bit of toe on him eh? yeah gee this will be a nice one for the smoker Steve <laughs> He's a beauty. Man, this little pink pink fly is a deadly one. Okay, come, let's go. Let's go down. There's a nice little run at the end here, about 100 meters down. I can just keep him out the reeds. out the reeds Gary guys he's working hard this fish put him at a three pounder oh he no if he's more tired than me <laughs> I think I'm the one I think I'm the one guys come on fishy Try and go down and get him out now, but guys, he's he's got one up on me. He knows this terrain. Woo! It's a good fish, man. He's a great fish. Feel he's got a lot of toe on him. Oh. Come on, fishy. Look at him. Can we 
get you out here. You tight enough? No, dude. He ain't. Okay. Nearly around at the little bay here. I can just get him to this bay. I think we're going to be good. Where's he going? <sighs> Gee, I'm knackered. Here we go. Now we got some space. Okay, guys, come on. Let's see if we can get him out here. Oh. Wow. Question is, how much toe has he got left? Oh, There's a beautiful rainbow. Yeah, the head's coming up a bit. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my word, am I naked? Strategy worked with a streamer. That's a beauty. That's a beautiful rainbow. Oh goodness. Okay guys. What a fight. That's our smoker fish for tonight. Yeah. What a lovely battle fish. Well done. Oh. You can see how he's taking that there. Ah, oh, it's a beauty. Yeah, it's a lovely fish. Right back at the car, mate, we had a nor'wester coming down this valley. And probably about half an hour ago, it switched. We got a raging easterly wind coming straight up the valley now. So I'm back at the car. I've got the trout in the chili bin in there. And I'm waiting for my mate Steve. I think he's come across that water that I found as well. So I think he's trying his luck on, on that. But boy, this wind is howling. It is just raging. It's coming straight from behind me there. Whew, buddy. I mean, you see the dust going down the valley like that, man. Or up the valley in this case. It's crazy. So... So off to the campsite and we're going to set up camp. We'll have to do a good job at that. Tuck it in nicely amongst the trees because this is breezy and she's a big tent. First time we're camping in the big new tent on the family tent. Catch you guys later. How's it again everyone? Well I've been lying in this year hammock for a couple of hours. It's been great. Just chilling. Steve's um, about to put his air mattress inside the old uh, Waipuna Navigator South tent. I'll take you in and show you guys. And the wind is raging from them hills back there. There we go, Steve. Looking good. <laughs> I'll try and find the single next time. <laughs> so there we go, Steve's quarters. And I've got the Coleman Big Sky stretcher in there. This is the Waipuna, lots of space. Yeah, tons of space in this tent. I bought it because you can pitch the fly first and then click in the uh, inner after that. It's great. Uh, let me go show you the views up the valley there. And I'll need to uh, turn the uh, volume down because that wind's raging. And then we might have to get that trout sorted out soon. And autopsy the fish soon, Steve. Such a nice camp spot. West is ripping you behind this little spot here. Tucked away behind the stop bank. Still windy, but boy, she's okay. She's okay there.
right, this is hats off time. If you guys can see the smoke there, smell of vision smells good. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's just kind of hanging there in suspension. <laughs> oh, I'm liking our Waipuna, I think that's the name. Navigator South Waipu, sorry. Waipuna, Waipu. I don't think they make these anymore. And that nor'wester is gone. <laughs> so it's just actually very pleasant at the moment. Just made a brew. Hey Steve, what do you got to say about today's fishing? Catching, we did catching. Yes, we did some catching. Three fish caught amongst the boys. All right, here we go guys. It's cooled down quite nicely. Woo, buddy. Look at that. Real smoked rainbow trout. Oh boy, that looks good, Steve. Smells good, too. Hey. First taste, first bite. Mm. Yep. 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 It's a big thumbs up. Mm. <laughs> this is so yummy, eh? So yummy. Wow, that's a far cry from before, eh? No wind. Yeah, look at the snow still in this. A, is that the Garden of Eden ice field or something back there? Beauty. Very beautiful. We nestled in down there, guys. Garden of power. Oh, yep. I think the Eden one isn't far away either. Wow. So, tomorrow, the plan is to head across there. Up against that big hill there again. Just kind of down there on the right. Fish our way up along that main mountain. And then see how we get on. Moon's out. Wow. So nice when the Norwest is not raging. The sun's about to go. And what's the time? 8 o'clock. 8.15 already. So in the peak of summer. We're on this beautiful Lord of the Rings territory river and I think it's going to be early to bed, early to rise. So thanks for joining the Kiwi Fly Fisherman. We'll uh, catch you again tomorrow morning as we head on off. I wonder if there's a fish or two down here. We haven't seen any. Not to say they won't be here. 
So I'll spot you tomorrow, guys, for more action. All right, it's just after. <laughs> there's a bunny rabbit scooting down the road. It's just after quarter past six. Ah, just put the water on for a brew. There we go, the spectacular scenery again. Goodness, that's pretty. Always a fishing down there on the right hand side yesterday. <clears throat> Makes you around the corner there. Yeah. A little breeze. Steve's got stuck in his sleeping bag. <laughs> wow, well, I'm just waking up on the tops this morning. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, see, boys are setting off late. It's 10 to 8. Look at the views here, man. Cars back down that way. And uh, heading off. Off to catch some fish. Hey, Steve. <laughs> On this beautiful morning. nice yeah you go for it it looks lovely that pool first cast of the day for Steve I gotta get my stuff ready yeah don't get too excited <laughs> check the scenery guys today is a sensory overload in this beautiful valley the scenery here is spectacular and look at this water, Steve's going to have a crack on this pool. We typically head across the valley to that big range there and fish up at the base of that. All the way up, around, and then circle back to the, uh, the vehicle. Steve's fishing. Fair breeze picking up behind us at the moment. Right, we've almost crossed the valley. What's the time now? It's nearly nine o'clock. Bit of a walk to get across the side, guys. Steve's back there behind. Okay, seeing some nice water up ahead there, over there. There's a beautiful pool that I think we should start at down there. There's a nice band, bank and bush, three bees before that pool. I like the three bees, usually we have caught some nice fish on those three bees, the bank, the band and the bush. <laughs> All right guys, we're fishing. Well, not quite yet, haven't got a cast in yet. Steve's going to work his way up along this channel. I'm going to try and cross through here. So I've got a bit of a pheasant tail kind of thing. Drop off my stimulator fly. Try and fish the seam up ahead here. Deep there. 
it. there but maybe not oh, I get too deep come on hey I'm gonna fish and cross we'll try it's a bit deep here Steve -o. oh hey <laughs> What a pool though, check this out. Oh yes, it's up to the twig and berries. <laughs> oh. oh buddy. It's cold. Oh, help! <laughs> up to the belly button. Aye, aye, aye. Surely it's gonna shell off. Hey boy. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Help me. <laughs> Two. Okay, almost. Ay, ay, ay. That was a fish up to the chest there. Whoa. Now we got soft sand. Oh gosh, that's just gonna make it a bit tricky. <laughs> Oh gosh, that was hard work and it's not finished yet. I haven't got myself out of the soft sand. Oh, down we go. I was laughing at Steve last time. Try and get up onto this bank. Oh man. It's steep. Uh, oh. Things we anglers get up to. Huh. Uh. Okay, oopsie. Guys. Oh. Still not on solid sand. Okay. As you can see. Nice water up there. It's got a bit of colour. Oh. Gee, that was hard work crossing back down there. My crikey. I think we'll give it a crack. Yeah. This channel at the back here guys. Right, so instead of turn, take the fly and drop it again. So it's certainly filled the turn, hopefully it'll fill the trout. Yeah, this bank is not very stable. So punching into a little bit of a breeze. And there's a bit of colour on that water, so... It's just got a nice, slow and steady flow. This is such a beautiful run of water. Wow. Nice place to land the 
artificial though. A bit sandy there. <laughs> hey. Soft sand too, you just go in. Kind of blind casting my way up here. Should try the middle as well. There's a bit more flow down the middle there. It's a nice drop here though. I caught a nice one last time I was up here in similar kind of conditions. A little drop off a sandy bar. Nice, nice water. Hey friends, look at the size of this river down here. I can see it branches off, goes through there, but that's going to be pretty tricky to cross. It looks shallow enough, but it's deceptive, guys. It's got a good flow in it. But just the expansive nature of this river is incredible. <clears throat> Probably where the spin fisher has an advantage get a longer cast out so you don't spook the fish uh, and then swing it around into the through this water but the boys are on the fly gear today got the old sage z axis it's a six weight it's a nine foot rod and i got the sage reel large arbor reel so I've got the tools to do the business. <clears throat> do I have the skills? <laughs> Steve's headed up. You can see him across there. That little bank bend and bush is fishing that little section there. But look at the scenery. Oh wow, first thermal's popping off the ridge back there. And what are we at? Uh, 9.22 and those thermals have been going for about 10-20 minutes already so she's going to be a warm day and a beautiful fly fishing day at the moment right I do think there could be a fish up ahead here yeah, under that froth line it's hard to tell but we'll, we'll plop a fly out there and see what happens guys I think that might have landed on top of him. Get one more line out. It's a bit tricky with this breeze up against me. Oh, that's way off to his left. Come on, G. Focus. That's what you need. Focus. It's definitely a shape there. That's off to the right of that shape. That's a big fish, that's enough to spook him. Uh, don't 
don't think that's a fish net. Nice first start though. Gotta sharpen up the casting, Gary. Hmm. Nice bit of water coming up. Really nice. I thought this was a fish down here. See the rise or movement. Man, it's deep down here. I don't think there's going to be an easy way to cross. Guys, that's some impressive rock slide up ahead there. Steve's just off to the right. Man, it's come off from the, almost from the summit up there. That's a lot of rock. Wow, you can see how it's covered the green countryside there. So, so far, I haven't seen a fish. Steve has spooked one, he reckons. And uh, it's been fairly quiet, but lots of water it's flowing still it's got a good flow on it for a river that should be around the 65 to 70 cumex okay I think I've spotted a trout just about 20 meters up ahead of me here so I've got a nice weighted nymph on and a blowfly imitation as the dry Let's see how we get on guys It's going to be coming over him now. That's a bit to the right of him, though. Uh. Right, just spied a nice big fish. Um, just as the side stream's about to come in to the mainstream here. He's an active feeder. He hasn't come up, but he's feeding quite a bit. Down, you can see him moving around. He looks like a nice fish. Very nice fish. So Steve's going to try and have a crack at him. Maybe from the spit over there. Oh yeah, he's moving around quite a bit. Alright, there we go. Steve's getting himself ready. We've got a real active feeder down here. Okay, that landed about three meters behind him. That's fine for a false cast. All right, can you see him? Yeah. Yep. Good cast. Yep. Oh, oh! He came up to your dry. And he came back down here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, the fish has gone back. Yep. Oh, it's got dragged down. Still there. 
Yeah, it's a bit short. You've got to go further, Steve. Land it up where that rock is. I th yeah, he's in the middle of that channel now. Yeah, it's a, still a bit short. You've got to go a bit further. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he, oh, he looked at it. I think he had a look at that again. Yeah. Steve's putting on a cicada now. Cicada imitation. The fish is still back there in his station. Right, Steve's got a cicada imitation on. Let's see how he gets on here. Yeah, he's still there. Yep, nice cast. Come on, fish. Oh, it's dragging a bit there on the left. Right, Steve's got a big loves lure on now. Yeah, he didn't move to that, did he? Right, Steve spotted the fish on the other side on his side between two rocks there. Got to land it in the shallows out of the main stream there. Yes! Oh, he took something. Did you see it? Was it that? Oh, mate! Maybe he missed it. He just came up real fast. All right, we're heading back, guys. Steve's found a, an old dock trap that was washed up next to the river. And there was a dock worker there looking for these it's black gold or black gold birds. So it's coming up on two o'clock. Steve and I are both pretty tired. <laughs> and we've got probably another 15 minutes walk back to the old uh, home of the hammock. hard days fishing. Sadly no fish. <laughs> Thanks Steve. And this is the view from the hammock. Campsite's just behind us. Yeah. Big dust devil out in front here. Wow. So this feels like it's coming off, yeah. Eh? But then if you look at the valley, valley winds coming down out to the west. And we've got this blooming breeze coming straight up from the right. Really random. So what's for tea tonight, Steve? Chicken dal. Oh yeah, that's from Lake Tennyson times. And real chicken in a can, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm also actually on curry. Mine is the paneer butter masala. With some burrows. <laughs> it's alive. 
Let's park the car here so we can uh, get some protection from the southerly that's starting to push kind of straight in from the side. How's yours tasting there, Steve? It's good. Yeah, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. And the burrowers and the curry, and we've got a couple of eggs we're going to drop in there. <laughs> Bon appétit. <laughs> right, let's just take you up here, guys, and see how this weather's changed. The forecast have a bit of rain around four in the morning, tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's our last day up here. And uh we won't get up at the crack again, but we do have a place we want to fish on the way out. It's a wild place this guys. So wild. It's got some more water on for a brew down there. I'll take you along and just give you the last the last shot of them mountains. They are beautiful. It's a special place this, eh? It was hard fishing today. <clears throat> Never managed to catch anything, but we did see a couple. Have a crack at them. Wow! See the dust going up the valley there. So that's coming out the south westly, I reckon. Southerly almost, yeah. Normally a nor'wester here. Woo, buddy. What a view. Yeah, I don't know if you can catch that dust. The valley dust. That is pretty sweet. Yeah guys, so we'll head back to the tent, hunker down and uh, just enjoy our last night here. But thanks again for joining us and uh, <clears throat> sorry there's no fishing action today. But so is, that's why one of the subs, you were right, you said that's why it's called fishing and not catching. Eh? seen any fish in here but that doesn't mean to say they're not hiding away somewhere check this out my happy place again look at that mount pots hidden away there spectacular man that's all I can say it is spectacular See why I moved the car around, eh? Just to give it a bit more protection. Protect the tent a little bit more from that southerly. Right, morning everyone. Steve and I hold out in the little wee entry area. It's a bit wet outside. We've had quite a lot of rain overnight. Steve's got, got his porridge going there. And... I'm having some leftover burrowers, some panini bread, a couple of eggs, and we've all got coffee. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers on our last morning. Very overcast out there. Some 
money. Eggs away. Eggs in. Mm. Here is breakfast. <laughs> Let's put a bit of spice in this. Just a bit of mixed spices. Not too much. There we go. Toasted up the panini. First bite. Mmm. <laughs> nice. There's a tip for the viewers. Then there are those occasions when trout become locked on a particular food form. Several forms may be available to the fish, but only one is selected. Usually the one that is selected is the one that is most plentiful, but sometimes because it involves less energy expenditure. Moral of the story is, keep trying, don't give up. <laughs> What's that you're reading, Gary? Yeah, I think it's a Mike uh, Waddell book. Ten of the best New Zealand trout flies. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, those of you who've got the, oh, should I tell them, Steve? The hair's ear, yep, check, that's one of them. The midge, check, that's another one. And you'll have to get your hands on the book to find out <laughs> the other eight. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> All right. Put it up there, Steve. It's too high. Right, we're going to have a... Hot chocolate, a pop tart, and a movie now. <laughs> and, the, oh, and the movie's called Revenant. Is that right, Stu? Yeah. There was a curious cow out here a minute ago. Oh, we've got, got our, ourselves a bit of a crumbled pop tart. And then Steve got some coffee. No, hot chocolate, eh? That mm. was what we were having. And there's the old book that I was referring to earlier. And we've got a rolling ball. Alright, we've seen a wee sign of some sun breaking through, which is great. We've left the movie behind. And here we are. Wow. What a difference from last evening, eh? Gee, turning out to be a nice day. Woohoo! Ah. So definitely clouds are breaking up guys. This is good. Tent can dry out a bit after overnight rain. Sun is slowly creeping through in some parts. This is good news, Steve, eh? Mm. We might have to slowly but surely get our A into G. Settle up. Yeah, settle up and catch those rising trout down down river here. Right, we're setting off in our little wee spot. We're gonna fish that bit of water along there uh, let's leave the black Mariah here and uh, let's head on off last time I came here there was a fence running along here and this is dense bush so it's all been washed out following the big rains all right got down to the river and there's no can-do fishing here this is fast and deep 
we're gonna have to somehow Steve's down there <clears throat> and there's a side spring creek here that's quite big so we might have a big walk around and try and get up further up where we can cross fish some of this water it's beautiful though just stunning Trying to find a place, guys, to get over here. Could be a bit hairy getting in here in front, but uh, I won't take the chance. But man, there's a nice pool on the other side there, and put that pink streamer through that tail end there. Hang on, bud, hang on. Bound to be a rainbow or two in there. Breathtaking again. It's just after midday. Haven't heard the cicadas today. Right, guys, into it now. I lost one on the little pink streamer here. Man, the water's fast flowing, deep. So I've been trying the streamer. It was a small one, it got off just after the take. But I'm not complaining, just check this scenery out, guys. Wowzers. This is why I love the sport of fly fishing in the backcountry. Doesn't get much better than this, just ambling along the old river, looking for a little place, potential hide for a fish. Sometimes the flow is not as strong as this in front of me here, and you can kind of work with a dry fly and a nymph along here. Steve's back there, I think he's, he's trying to sight fish in the softer water along the sides. Otherwise, just looking for that uh, little prospect of good fishing water. But yeah, she's flowing, she's fast. Salmon fishermen's dream this probably. There are salmon that come up this uh, river as well. But boy, look at the scenery guys. So yesterday we were probably about, I don't know, 10 k's up valley here around the point on the right hand side there where the big hill comes down we were around that bend fished up towards that spring creek today we've come down into the kind of narrows here uh, area they call the white post and yeah we're just trying our luck here just a beautiful morning oh it's afternoon now but stunning stunning Looks like some more streamer water for me to put a streamer through up ahead here. I'll keep you posted. Let's try ourselves. Bit of the old streamer in here, eh? I'll get a nice bit of line out here. Oh yeah, this is nice and deep. So there's the streamer running now. I'm pulling it back towards me now. That's not bad, the strategy. Picks up a fish facing up river. I've caught a few like that before as well. But most I'll catch on the bend as it's bending back towards the bank. A bit harder to cast the streamer. All right, just fishing this little edge. No. All right, nothing there. All right, guys, I'm not sure if it is a fish. If it is, it's big. About 20 meters directly ahead of me, I put my blowfly and that kind of red goose biot nymph underneath that. We'll see how we get on here. Nice place to fight a fish here. Nice place indeed. Okay, that fly line's a bit too far. Oh yeah, I've had an inspection on the dry. Oh, crikey. 
He didn't take the dry. Gee, that was way up further. Fish went for that, so I didn't get to this other one. Oh, that's how you speak the spook this big one. I went too far up. Inspected. Hey, <laughs> now I'll catch a little one down here. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at this. I'm dragging off a bit behind me here, and I've caught a, a little bit. <laughs> oh, you're kidding, guys. Check him out. Oh, that's crazy, isn't it? That's a crazy sport. He's not a biggie. Oh, nice. Come here, fishy. Oh, come on. So the boys are here, first fish on. <laughs> Albeit a sneaky catch, it was just off the back of this little run here. <laughs> oh, isn't that fun? Come on. Come on. What is he? A little brown little rainbow? Uh, I think he's a little rainbow. Hey, took a little red nymph. Nice solid take there, dude. Yeah, a little rainbow. Going back. <laughs> okay. Gee, excitement. But there was a bigger one that. I think rejected the blowfly there. Oh, buddy. I don't see that big one anymore. I wonder if he's moved on. Come on, Gary. Gee, it's just a bit too far that coast. The fly line was just over that fish, which you don't want. Oh, I think he's moved. Oh, I think he has moved. Dang, guys. Well, let's see where we go. There's a lovely channel here in any case. Let's see what action can happen. Anything can happen, guys. Anything can happen. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I think that fish... Oh no, maybe it wasn't a fish. I thought this was the fish here. Okay, maybe it's not a fish. Okay, nice long cast. Good drift on it, see what happens. Hey. Oh, maybe the nymph dragged there. Yeah, it's quite a heavy nymph, eh? Hey? It's quite a heavy nymph. Oh, yeah, it's too heavy for this depth of water, guys. Okay. Need to maybe get just deep into the channel there. That's the one nice deep channel that'll carry nicely through. Yes, yes. Oh, what was this? Like a long, slim thing. I wonder if that's a salmon. Kind of went for it and then he left it. I don't know if you got that on the film, that would be nice. Long, skinny guy. Hey, who are you? What are you? <laughs> Going for the blowfly imitation, but didn't commit. Ah, hey, didn't commit. Right, there's a nice little hole here. I'm going to try my streamer in. Fish on guys, in this pool, fish on here, I think it's a nice little rainbow, come on fishy, come on fishy, don't want to lose you, you're a keeper for home, <laughs> come on, you're a keeper for home, 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's dispatch it in quickly, guys. That's a beauty, beauty little rainbow, eh? Out this hole. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs>